Lawmakers could soon begin discussions on two bills aimed to repeal the state's grocery tax. This says a group gathered this afternoon for an untaxed groceries rally at the state capitol. Way 31's Ashley Carter joins us live after speaking with the group who held that rally and lawmakers sponsoring the bill. Ashley. Murray, the push to repeal the state's taxes on groceries has been something many have advocated for for years now, including Alabama Rice, who held today's rally. Now, lawmakers are telling me that even though similar bills haven't been successful in the past, they do believe that this year could be different. So every cart of groceries you, you buy, imagine 4% goes back to the state. And for a hungry family, that adds up to two weeks worth of food every year that we're taxing people. Robin Hyden, the executive director for Alabama Rice, says though 4% may seem like a small number, for many families, eliminating the tax would be huge in the long run. That may not seem like much, but when you are making a choice between buying a gallon of milk or buying medicine or a toy for your child, you know, people are having to make these hard decisions about what they can buy. We think that every little bit helps and we have some of the highest sales rate, uh, sales tax rates in the country. The biggest hurdle in trying to eliminate the grocery tax is making up the revenue because funds used from the state grocery tax help fund education. Mike Holmes sponsored a bill to do away with the grocery tax and he believes the state's already generating much more money in other areas and he doesn't think cutting the tax would impact the education budget. Well, the best uh, approach to get this done is to just replace it out of the surplus funds that we've been generating in the last three or four years. I'm projecting it was going to continue at least another two or three years. Panion bill in the Senate looks to replace the funds that would be lost by repealing the grocery tax by getting rid of the federal income tax deductions you receive when filing state taxes, which homes would support. To me, that's not a tax cut. That's just a reshuffling of the deck and making different people pay the tax. But regardless of the approach, Hyden says this year is as good as ever to make progress on repealing the tax. It's going to be a tough sell because what we're asking some people to do is some people to pay slightly higher income taxes. But the trade off is that everyone pays less for groceries. And for the vast majority of households, that would be a net tax break. Now, there are only nine days left in this year's legislative session, and Holmes says while he is cautiously optimistic that both of these bills will make it out of the committee and to be introduced, he says it is going to take a little bit of a push, but he says he's hoping that both bills can get introduced by next week. Live in Huntsville, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News. Only about a dozen states still have a grocery tax. Mississippi and Tennessee are the only states bordering Alabama that also have a grocery tax.